Tourists come to Durban, South Africa to enjoy the warm waters of the Indian Ocean, the sandy beaches, and buy a few souvenirs. But I'm here for a different reason. This week, I'll bring you news from the largest global health conference in the world, the biannual meeting of the International AIDS Society. 18,000 people from 180 countries are attending AIDS 2016. Organizers are putting finishing touches on the conference center where scientists, people with AIDS, advocates, political leaders, and even a few movie stars will gather. Dr. Larry Corey is the director of the HIV Vaccine Trials Network in Seattle, Washington. He was here 16 years ago, the last time the conference was held in Africa. Dr. Corey, um, for the only the second time, the biggest AIDS conference in the world is going to be held in Sub-Saharan Africa, in Durban. Can you take us back to the first time it was held there in 2000? Coming at it with some background. I had recently read um, Mandela's biography of Walk for Freedom. I sort of had an idea of, about this denialism that was going on from their current president, Mbeki. And here's a leader with the largest epidemic of HIV giving a speech about poverty and never using the word ah, HIV. It was surreal. And then you had Mandela. There was, you know, a, a great man of incredible honesty who and the passion that the communities and the people had for him. So the contrast was amazing, and what both said was amazing on polar extremes. No one believed then that the new life-saving drugs that had turned HIV from a death sentence to a manageable disease would be feasible, affordable, workable in Africa and other developing countries. That is, until they came to Durban and saw the injustice of their inaction. It was at Durban in 2000 that the conversation changed. All of these communities and all these people who were HIV infected and yet weren't available to have therapy yet, so many of them not getting therapy, um, and it was like, whoa. How have you seen that change in the 16 years as we go back to Durban now? There is this transformation. Um, the South African government spends an enormous amount of time in a, in a, um, in a very um, business-like way in providing therapy and looking at the health care issues. But Larry Corey and other HIV researchers know we can't treat our way out of this pandemic. We need to prevent infections in the first place. You, you know, in, in our country, an HIV vaccine, okay, that sounds nice. But you go to, on the street and you talk to the taxi cab drivers or anybody, you know, that you walk into and you say, you know, um, we're working on an HIV vaccine, and they immediately stop and say, God, that would be great. And their eyes glisten. They, it's not like they're just is a passing interest, you know, this is a passing interest. It's sort of like, you know, I know this would be good for me and my country and my relatives, and I'm affected, my community is affected by it. What do you hope to see come out of this conference? Um, I hope the people who I work with will get recharged about the purpose of what we're doing. Uh, I think that's what conferences do. They recharge people's batteries, they provide um, purpose, they provide a sense of community. Um, and so, you know, that to me is, is, is the purpose of going. On the eve of the conference, I met with Dr. Glenda Gray. She's the president of the South African Medical Research Council and Dr. Corey's South African counterpart in the HIV Vaccine Trials Network. The aim of the Durban 2016 conference, one, I think, is to reflect on where we've been. So the Durban conference was held here in 2000, in the time of AIDS denialism, in a time where people were dying from HIV, in a time where HIV was out of control. And 16 years later, we can look back and see the huge progress that we've made. It's a time to say, um, the progress has been good, but don't stop. The progress has been great, but there are a lot of things that are happening. And most of all, we need to try and prevent HIV acquisition. And this is where the HIV vaccine agenda is so important. And so for the next decade, you know, we're going to be concentrating on prevention. The, this last dec decade has been about treatment and bringing HIV under control in terms of managing it. But if we don't find something that stops HIV, that stops acquisition, uh, we are going to be fighting with this epidemic forever. And so for the next decade, we will see HIV vaccine research 
explode and we will see huge gains made in HIV prevention and so the next decade is about prevention and um, that is what we need to look forward to and pledge commitment and funding to. Mary Engel for Fred Hutch News in Durban, South Africa.